Hello everyone, uh, welcome to another episode of How To. Now we're going to do Stella again, but we're doing Stella in Raids. Now, part of what makes Stella so great in Raids, um, let's, let's actually start with uh, the setup with her, you know. We explained her skills last time, we explained how she can be good. We did say that it's the, you know, it's the same, uh, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a skill, her skills are all amazing for raids like you know defense break branding huge adb reduction right so she's amazing for raids there's, there's no denying that so uh let's discuss the comp i have her in right we have tasun and ds in the front line that's nothing uh huge i i don't like tasun in the front line that much but in this comp there's nothing else to put in the front so I could like make Kona super tanky, but he has such low defense it would be too hard and you know Tasun can do it, so why not? Right? And um Diaz is yeah, Diaz. So Colleen, obviously, Kona, the cleanser. If he's fast enough, he can solo cleanse just fine. Hua with a speed rune. You know, this is my the same Hua as my uh Dragons and Necro Hua. She just has a speed rune here for raids because plus twenty speed. <laughs> Way too little, right? So we've got our little Stella here, and our, together with Hua, they uh, they accompany each other. You know, uh, in reducing the ADB, she uh, they do a lot of damage together. The problem with uh, Stella, with my current Stella, is that she's swift. So there is a slight problem with, because she often does not, you know, she gets stunned, and if Kona doesn't cleanse, you know, she stays stunned. And she loses a lot of turns because she can't violent proc out of it. That's why I would, I said in my uh, the actual how to before that she might be a, it might be a better choice if she's uh, violent. But you do have to get the good speed, you know. Especially here, you want the ATB to be the ATB reduction from her third skill to be as as much as possible because of the damage and everything. See, my Stella is um, Two twelve speed, right? So with the twenty four from uh, Forces Jamire and the fifteen percent from my totem, she is way over the the line. You know, way over the line as far as uh, uh, the seven hits are concerned. And you saw now she just did the, her hit, even if it's not on defense break, it doesn't matter that much. Like I'm okay if it doesn't do damage as soon as if it if it's gonna decrease the boss's attack bar by fifty percent and above. You know, if five hits activate 10%, I'm happy with that, right? I'm sorry about this. Okay. Yeah, the lighting is horrible, guys. I'm sorry about this. <laughs> but yeah, that's good enough, right? It's really nice. And the branding really speeds up runs. It really does. When your supports start hitting for, uh, you know, uh, I don't know. When, when the supports start hitting for 4,000 damage, <laughs> you know something is good. You know, it, it, the damage is really nice, and it really helps if she could put branding after the the la the the seventy five the twenty five percent uh, jump. When she does that, when she puts branding after that, it's it holds so much value because it helps. With, uh, plus, if you since we have double ATB reduction, it helps keep the debuffs that I put up longer. So you know they stay up longer. It's safer that way. She will get better and better as a skiller up. And uh, I'm going to try to make her um, violent next run removal probably. For now, she's she's fine as, as she is. See now, Kona got a nice a nice cleanse. And she got, she's gonna get to attack. No, she's not. Well, she's gonna get to attack after the boss lands. She's also a nemesis, so it's really helpful. Uh, you know that uh, she uh, she gets turns from uh, you know going uh, taking all the damage that she takes. My problem is she is a bit like it is. A, she is a bit squishy, but I, I'm working on that. Like grindstones are obviously going to help with her uh, survivability, uh, as as will uh, maxing her runes. Like uh, her defense, her slot three rune is not max, so that will help. Uh, she has a few defense subs. See now that that blade dance of the reaper was crazy good, right? And if she has it every four turns, because mine has it every six, like she barely does it. Imagine if I keep putting the attack bar of the boss down. And a lot of people say that it's not very good when you get too many turns. Oh, it, it actually is good. Because, yeah, you get a lot of turns and the boss doesn't get to attack. but And you say, oh, it builds up the stacks. Yeah, it does build up the stacks. But 
if you get 15 turns, which having six monsters, you probably are gonna get 15 turns if you get if you have a lot of ATB reduction and ATB increase. If you put in a Verd or a Bernard, for example, uh, the boss is gonna get a turn and you know use all the stacks, but it, it's gonna use them on the roar, the thing that reduces uh, stuns you. That thing doesn't do that much damage, even with many stacks. A decently ruined team will not, even in R5, it will not take that much damage. So, it actually is fine to take a lot of hits. Like, Forus and Tricky, they have amazing, you know, we have, uh, they have double Light Salamander, which on double Revenge, plus my Colleen, plus, I, had, I think they had Colleen, I, I didn't see now. So, it's enormous amount of attack debuffs, right? With the Revenges everywhere. When the boss goes up, it's pretty much guaranteed that it's going to get an attack back, an attack debuff back when it lands. So that is excellent, right? Oh yeah, the, the, we have one Colleen, two Light Salamanders, two DS. You know, there's a lot of attack debuffing, but we're here to talk about Stella, right? Making her, giving her a safe environment like this obviously helps her do more damage and helps her survive. Uh, but I think pairing her up with Hua was uh, was what made this comp like really take off. Like, I was afraid of taking off my my second um, uh, cleanser. I was using Vela instead of Hua, and then my Stella was my only DPSer. But putting in Hua, like I, I, putting in Sassoon, which my my Sassoon is not frontline ready yet. She needs a couple of grindstones and some other runes so that I can put them back on her because right now her it's a PVP thing. She has to be faster than Theo. It, so if she's not faster than Theo, you know, it's uh, it's a problem. So anyway, it's kind of annoying that Mai Tsun is not... She was frontline uh, eligible before, she's not now, because I had to change a couple of runes to make her faster. But with a couple of grinds, with one grindstone actually, I can do that fine again. So when I get that violent speed grindstone, we'll talk again. I'll be, I'll be much... Uh, happier about having Sassoon in the front line. Uh, but as far as uh, Stella is concerned, yeah, I think that's that's about it. Like her her kit is ridiculous for raids. Like straight up, even before the the change in the speed required to get to the seven hits, her kit was amazing. The problem was that her third skill was just you know subpar, and the the buffs to the, the I think all the assassins got a buff in the first attack, right? So the defense. Uh, break chance was increased, which is also amazing. So she has another, you know, defense break is not as easy to come by as well. Some people use Bella and Darian, but you see in this comp, we don't have a single auto attacker with defense break, except Stella. So, you know, that's always a bonus, right? Um, she, she broke defense again. So yeah, I think, I, I, I think that Stella is like, an amazing monster, monster for raids, and uh, if you have a, I strongly, strongly suggest that you build her. Like, uh, I cannot stress how how good she's been for me. Uh, obviously, speed lead is always really nice for her to have in raids, but even if she does like six hits, because you know I don't have a, a speed lead, that's fine. Like. Six, six hits is fine. Like what I don't, what I wouldn't like is her having 180 speed. You know, and then no speed lead, and then she would do like four hits, and I'll be like, hmm, <laughs> that's not very good, is it? Anyway, um, thank you so, so much uh, for watching, I guess, and uh, please, any questions you might have uh, regarding Stella, I'll be very, very, very pleased uh, to answer them and uh, help you out with, uh, you know, builds, anything you might want to know. And uh, as always, uh, thank you for watching. Shout, shout out, obviously, to uh, Forrest and uh, Tricky Smile. Yeah, see, <laughs> this happens sometimes, and I have to get carried because my DPSs die. Because they're both they're both a bit squishier than I intended because I haven't been raiding so much, so they're pretty poorly grindstone. But we'll make it; it's fine. This is like the f first of the we've done like this is the sixth or seventh run. And uh, this is the first time it happened, so that's a decent raid. And since we're not gonna wipe, it's fine. Okay, so thank you for watching, guys. And uh, let's uh, let's watch the rest of this, I guess. Um, what to talk about? Uh, 
I hope uh, you're, you know, you're still liking the content, and uh, I really, I really hope you're having fun with uh, everything that's been going on in my channel the past few weeks. I know it's been, uh, it's been amazing for me. Like the growth of the channel has been ridiculous, uh, and uh, I just, uh, you know, thank you guys for this, and I, I hope all the content that I'm, uh, you know, shoving out is. Uh, is fun for you and informative and that it helps you so have a nice day or night and i'll see you guys tomorrow bye <laughs>